Hi, in this video we're going to demonstrate Aetna Trader for Android. This app is essentially an extension of the web terminal and it allows you to perform the same trading operations like trading stocks, trading options, creating price alerts, creating watch lists, checking your account balances, your positions, your profit and loss, etc. Aetna Trader is available on Google Play, so you can search for it, install it, and then you can start using it. Let's tap open. When we initially open up the app, we are presented with the quote screen. Basically, here we can take a look at our watch lists. We also have this little preview graph, as well as the current quote. If the market is closed, we'll see the closing price from the previous trading session. To switch the watch list, we can tap on this little double square button in the top right corner, select the watch list, and immediately everything will be loaded. Obviously, we can add new securities to our watch list by entering their ticker symbols and tapping on the plus button. Okay, now let's take a look at the position screen. And of course, here we can take a look at our currently open positions. We can scroll through them. We can also scroll horizontally to reveal different parameters of the position, like day profit and loss, market value, cost basis, etc. If we would like to get a more detailed view of a specific position, we can tap on it and this will display the position view that displays various parameters about the position like the current market value, the number of securities, creation date, modification date, etc. And if we would like to close the position, we can tap on the close button in the top right corner and just like that the position can be closed. Okay, now let's take a look at the orders tab. Here we can take a look at our orders filtered by their status. We can take a look at our all orders, or only active orders, or only filled orders, or cancelled orders. Just like with positions, we can tap on an individual order to get a more detailed view of the order. Here we can see the site of the order, target trading session, status, etc. If we would like to place a new order, we can tap on the enter symbol text field, enter the ticker symbol of the security that we would like to trade, tap on it, here we have the regular candle chart. We can rotate the device to view this chart in full screen. We can zoom in, zoom out. We can change the chart's period, interval. We can change the type of the chart. We also have a selection of predefined periods and intervals. For example, we can display 15 minute prices for a period of one week, and so on. And of course, before we trade the security, we would like to take a look at the news, just to stay in touch with what's going on with the company. Okay, now let's finally place an order. Let's tap trade. And this will bring up the trade view where we can configure different parameters of the order, like the order side, which we can change from buy to sell, to sell short, to buy to cover. Next, let's specify the quantity. We can also change the order's type from market to limit, to stop, stop limit, trailing stop, and trailing stop limit. We can also change the target trading session. For example, if we would like to place this order only during the pre-market session, we can tap pre-market only. We can also select the required execution venue. And finally, we can tap on all or none. With this option enabled, our order will either be executed entirely or not at all. We can also specify a comment. And to place the order, let's tap verify order. Let's review the information. Everything seems to be correct. And now let's tap place. And the order was successfully placed. And of course, in addition to stock trading, Aetna Trader for Android features powerful options trading functionality. Here we can tap on options. And this will display the current option chain for this security. In the middle of the option chain, we have a column with the strike prices of the options. And to the left, we have call options. So these are all call options. And to the right, we have the put options. For your convenience, options in the money have this dark blue background. And out of the money options have this light blue background. We can also change the expiration date of the option. Let's select April 17th. 
Now we can trade options with the required expiration date. We can trade one option, or we can select multiple options to enter into some complex strategy. So let's select this one. And now let's tap trade options. Let's expand the information. Just like with stocks, we can change the order type, the trading session, the execution venue, and so forth. Okay, now let's finally tap verify order. Let's review the information. Everything seems to be correct. And now let's tap place. And just like that, we entered into a complex option strategy. Okay, now let's take a look at price alerts. Here we can view our price alerts filtered by their status. We can create a new price alert by entering the ticker symbol into the enter symbol text field. Let's select Amazon. Let's tap on this little ring bell icon. Let's select the required price. In this case, we're going to go with ask. And if the price reaches or goes below 1700, we would like to be notified. The expiration date will be December 31st. Let's tap create. And our price alert was created. And obviously everything that is happening in AdminTrader for Android is always synced with the web terminal. In other words, when you place a new order in the web terminal, it is displayed in AdminTrader for Android and iOS and vice versa. Okay, finally, let's go to accounts. And here we can take a look at our accounts. We can switch between them. We can examine our cash position, our liquidation value, our buying power. We can also take a look at our current unrealized profit and loss, pending order count, etc. At the top, we can tap on this little gear icon to reveal global settings. Here we can configure various settings like the default order type, the default order duration, execution venue, etc. We can also configure notifications. We can change the current theme. Currently we have gold. We can switch it to oil theme. We also have the steel theme. And gas theme. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions about AdminTrader for Android, feel free to contact us at sales at adminsoft.com and we'll be happy to answer all of your questions. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again in the next video. Bye.